outside now. It's a little bit early. Got a few more minutes to go, but I'll just see how, um, um, just wait a little bit and we'll see how many people join. And I'll try and see on here, here I am, yay. Okay, then I can see comments. All right, now, um, as you know, I'm making holidays today. It's my favorite, favorite sauce, but I'll tell you more about that in two minutes, because we need to wait for everyone to join. Okay, and I've got a lovely cup of tea in my lovely Thermomix from the mix shop. It keeps everything hot really well. And you know, my favorite thing, I think I've said this before, is um, when you're on a Zoom and you've got one of these cups and it's an evening Zoom, because we have all our meetings by Zoom. And if you've actually got wine in it, you just sort of blow it, oh, pretend it's coffee. Yeah, get away with it. But honestly, this is tea. It's only 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Alrighty. I think I will get started. Right, hollandaise sauce. Okay, as I said, sauces are my most favourite, favourite thing. I have sauce on just about everything. Blame it on my French grandmother. They love sauce. And hollandaise sauce is my favorite of the favorites because it is just, it's delicious. It's tangy and in the TM6, it's lovely and fluffy. I thought I'd do this as a Mother's, Mother's Day um, live for Mother's Day next Sunday, May the 9th, because you know, it's lovely to go out for breakfast for Mother's Day or brunch. And when I go out to breakfast, I always order eggs hollandaise. And I get so disappointed when it's the packet hollandaise. Yeah, it's okay, but homemade hollandaise is just the best. And there's no excuse. If you've got any Thermomix, you can make it. But in the TM6, it is particularly simple because it's a throw it in, press a button and leave it. And you can go and microwave your asparagus or if you've already pre-steamed uh, your asparagus or whatever you're having you can have it in your thermos server especially your um, oval thermos server which is the option for purchase this month let's see you can pay an extra 39 dollars and you get not only the tm the thermo server the oval one you get the blade cover as well i'll talk about that later Okay, so um, hollandaise, I've just got a few notes here, is traditionally a breakfast sauce, but it goes beautifully on roasted um, cauliflower. If you roast a whole cauliflower, put a hollandaise sauce on that. It's pretty special. And I'm going to show you some options that you can, um, or some variations on your hollandaise sauce that you can make pretty special sauces. And of course, it is French. So um, they are very, very, let me say, um, I guess special. Um, I don't know what it is about French sauces. Um, they just have that extra, I guess, I reckon it's because I've got a lot of butter, a lot of butter, a lot of egg yolk, all that mm, yum. <laughs> That's probably the reason. Okay, let's get started. Let's make it. I've got my asparagus already. I'm going to my hamburger menu and I'm going to my week and hollandaise sauce. Oop, let's press it. And it is the TM6 version, so it serves two to four or oh, one greedy person. <laughs> 10 grams of water. Okay, and we got our one gram increments in the TM6, so very accurate 10 grams and a couple of teaspoons next got some lemon juice 10 to 20 i like to use 20. sometimes even more generally about a, a lemon really oh, 
That lemon's only 13, 14 grams. That's fine. And 150 grams of unsalted butter. Now I'm using a low salted butter. And I'm actually not going to add salt. Okay, there we go. And next. And we don't need a butterfly for this. You do for the 31 and the 5. Four egg yolks. You can get away with three, um, especially if your eggs are large. Um, but I've often made it with three egg yolks if that's all I've got and I want a poached egg. Pop them in. I'm not putting salt in. I'm putting a little bit of white pepper, not black, because I don't want spots in my sauce. Next, measuring cup, lid, and we've got one of the modes, and this is the sauce mode, it's got a, photo, a picture of a jug there, and there are many, many modes on the TN6, and there's space for many more. It's going approximately 12 minutes, so while it's doing that, I'll talk to you about the variations. So just turn the dial. And I don't even have to think about it. It is so accurate. It's just the best, the best sauce. And you know what? This um, hollandaise is very stable, so you can reheat it. When you do the 31 and the 5 um, hollandaise, which is here on the board, and the bear maize, um, you need to remove it from the jug straight away because it, it could split because the jug's quite warm. But I, you can actually leave it in the jug and keep it warm in the jug while you're doing anything else, cooking your toast or whatever. Now, some options. Oh, this was, I wrote a few notes on hollandaise. Formerly called Dutch sauce, of course, Holland, hollandaise. Um, and it's an emulsion of acids, fats, and the actual emulsifier in that is the egg yolk, because the egg yolk contains lecithin. Um, so that's why you use egg yolk in your mayonnaise because normally oil and water or oil and juice, oil and vinegar, oil and anything, liquid like that won't, won't mix together. So you need an emulsifier to keep them together. Uh, uh, the bearnaise especially is beautiful with steak and it's a little bit different to hollandaise in that it's uh, a reduction of the acid part. So generally it's um, white wine or white wine vinegar with tarragon um, and pep peppercorns and things like that. Usually reduced on the stove until it's about two tablespoons and then you make it just exactly the same way as you make hollandaise. But of course, in the TM6, so much easier. And there is another variation of um, of the, the hollandaise called sauce au, au vin blanc. I'm not very good with the old French. <laughs> sauce au vin blanc. Um, don't think I've got anybody watching. No one's commenting anyway. And that's just a reduction of the uh, white wine and fish stock. And you could do the reduction in the Thermomix just without the, uh, the MC so that the steam will come up and reduce it and you'd probably only need a couple of tablespoons and you use that instead of uh, the lemon juice. Sauce choron is with tomato puree. Uh, you just add your tomato puree towards the end of the cooking period and you've got a, a tomato based sauce and once again that is delicious over vegetables, green vegetables. Sauce Dijon, now that's my favourite and most often when I make Hollandaise, I uh, add Dijon mustard. And that's an additional emulsifier as well. So if you're worried about it not emulsifying, add a couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Sauce Maltese is orange zest and juice instead of the lemon juice. And it's uh, generally made with blood oranges. So it's quite um, a pinky orangey sauce. Um, I reckon that would go beautifully with duck. I mean, duck and orange goes well together. Um, I can imagine a, a delicious duck breast with this lovely sauce on the side. Uh, sauce mousseline or sauce chantilly 
you uh, fold in whipped cream. So that makes it even lighter. So you'd use that for very delicate fish or poached chicken, any white fish, uh, even um, salmon, but very, very light, light flavor. Sauce divine, I think that's lovely. That's a sherry reduction. Um, I think that would go with a veal. I, I reckon like a veal um, scallop, not a scallopini, but like a veal. Ooh, there we go, going now. So it was just warming and melting. It's on 80. And now it's cooking and whizzing. Um, yeah, so with a veal, that would be delicious with sherry. And I imagine we could use anything, any other sort of very strong flavour alcohol if you wanted to. You can play around with the acid. You can use different vinegars. Um, I don't know I'd use balsamic because you'd get quite a dark coloured sauce. It wouldn't be, well, maybe it'd be a brown colour. Haven't tried it, so I can't tell you. Uh, but I, I use apple cider vinegar um, when I'm not using lemon juice. Apple cider vinegar is, is great. Um, lime would be lovely, really lovely with fish. Yuzu, if you can get them. Um, I actually found a yuzu paste in Woolies the other day that I might try. Uh, now, another one I found, if you stick some saffron threads, in a little bit of orange juice and use that instead of um, the lemon juice and serve it on scallops, sauteed scallops. Doesn't that sound divine? Um, so yes, using use lime juice instead of lemon and mix in some chopped fresh tarragon, parsley, chives and chervil if you can get it and serve that with salmon. Uh, and adding the adding pureed roasted capsicum and you can serve that with your roasted cauliflower that rose colored sauce over the white the creamy white cauliflower um, for vegetarian meal would be fabulous absolutely fabulous now you're going to have some leftover egg whites aren't you so what are we going to do with egg whites okay mayonnaise you can make mayonnaise with egg white. You don't need the yolk, but you would need to add the Dijon mustard for the emulsifier. You can make biscotti, because that uses egg white. Meringue, of course. And if you make little tiny meringues and dry them out really well in the oven, you can keep them in a container for yolks in the cupboard and pull them out when you've got guests and serve them um, as a eaten mess or any sort of dessert, pop a couple of little meringues on. That's pretty nice. Friands, another uh, little cake that uses egg white. Um, egg white omelette. And if you've ever made an egg, uh, sorry, an omelette in the Varoma, you know that they are fabulous, really fabulous. And there's something on Cookie Doo called Brutti Marboni. I don't know if that's correct. And it's an almond meal meringue. So, and you could have probably swapped hazelnut meal if you like. It's kind of a little biscuit, a very, something you'd have with coffee. Now, I was briefly talking to you earlier about the offer this month, and it goes to the 11th of May. Uh, the, if you purchase a TN6, you, for only $39 extra, you can get yourself the oval thermo server. Normally you can only get the thermo servers when you have cooking experience. And this one is particularly nice because it's quite elegant. You can imagine fish served in the thermo server with your sauce or with some lovely um, vegetables underneath. That's how I serve my um, dish that I made last time. I did a cook along on Zoom with one of my customers. And I made the wonderful chicken velouté meal and the carrot and the zucchini underneath and the chicken on top with the lovely sauce. Once again, sauce. That's why I like that recipe. And you could actually serve uh, the asparagus in here with the hollandaise. And the blade cover. Okay, this goes on the TM5 and the TM6. 
obviously covers the blades. The, it's shaped so that it goes, these bits go over the uh, higher part of the blade and it sits on really quite firmly. Uh, it has to go in reverse, so you need to use the guide of cooking. There are a couple of um, really good recipes on the recipe community. One is the blade cover poached eggs and they are fabulous, they really are, you need to try them. And you can cook a few poached eggs and you just pop them in um, cold water to keep them. And then you can reheat them in the microwave. Yes, I will put um, instructions on how to do that. And that's what the cafes do. They don't go cooking poached eggs when you order your poached eggs. They've got them already cooked and they reheat them. Anyway, blade cover. So there are collections on Cookie Do. Just instead of choosing recipes when you do the search, go to collections and you'll see heaps and heaps. Stewed fruit, master stock, um, slow cooked ribs, chicken drumsticks in... Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just divine? So delicious. Okay, let's... See, it is beautiful. There is no denying who is going to stand over a stove with, you know, a bowl of egg yolk and butter over hot water whisking. And I have been to a cafe in Perth where they did that for my breakfast and I thought, my gosh, you need thermo, a thermo mix or two. That is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm pouring it over my asparagus. I'm not very good on the, the old decoration. Ideally, my asparagus would be warm. <laughs> and I like to sprinkle over some smoked paprika just to make it a bit special and chefy. And of course, sprinkle it around the plate as well. Doesn't that look spectacular now if somebody came to me and woke me up on mother's day with this i would really love it just putting the hint out there <laughs> i think i'll be cooking it no actually we'll probably go out to breakfast so you enjoy your mother's day enjoy making hollandaise and playing around with that sauce to make so many other sauces thank you for watching and you know how to contact me if you want any more information on the TM6. Okay, where is my mouse? I'm going to close off now. So thank you. Bye.